previously on Bioshock. I'm your authority. You can sweat it out. I'm game. But I got all the atom in the city, pal. And I ain't shy about using it. And now, I'm Jake to take her out for a spin. <laughs> what is this you wait for? Go and get this idiot! Last chance, kid! You pack it in now, and I'll leave this stuff to you and Frau Kraut. You keep on coming, and Rapture's a fish tank. Find a big daddy and search his body. I would suggest you to be finding a dead one. This is the suit control system. So good, get it. That is step one of turning you into one of those disgusting big daddies. The only way to get through that door Fontaine went through is to have a little one open it for you. And they will only trust you if you look like, sound like, and even smell like one of those big, stinking brutes. We bred little ones to imprint to certain smells, the pheromones. You will need three industrial applications of this stuff, and then the little ones will be thrown to you like a bee to honey. You push me too far, kid. I'm gonna go over to Mother Goose's house, and I'm gonna take it apart, brat by brat. Consider it your legacy. Please, Officer Joe. I don't want to go on the table. I know why it has to be children, but why just girls? This I cannot determine why, but I know it is so. Fontaine says, oh, one less bathroom to build in the orphanage. It is amazing to watch the effect of Adam on their small bodies. Their own cells replaced by the new stems the instant they are damaged. These children are practically invulnerable. It is a shame you could not do the same thing to an adult. There would be quite a market for a man you could not kill. You're playing a bad hand, kid. You're just too spliced to smell it. Roll on back to Mother Goose now, or evidence gonna go bust <laughs> And now, on Bioshock. Hey there, Sun here, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock. Last time, we uh, went down into Point Prometheus and we saw Fontaine use his atom en enhanced powers to try to kill us. And uh, Tannenbaum said we have to become a big daddy. So we went and found three Big Daddy pheromone samples. So now we smell like one. Isn't that great? There's all kinds of loot in the rooms that you couldn't access before. But it's really up to you as to whether or not you really want any of it. The men all complain about their virility. Mm. I don't remember any of it being very useful, so... I'm looking for a door that says Main Hall. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, sneaky. There we go, that camera's mine now. I imagine that'll be very helpful. Oh. So, how did your acrobatics save you? Gotta go to the Mendel Family Library. Oh no. Okay, that's my rocket turret now. That is mine. And nothing will be ever will ever be able to touch it. <laughs> Ooh, the library for I guess even there had to be a library down here, so Hello camera. Always a pleasure to see you. Try that out. 
There's also a turret in here somewhere. Just found it. There we go, that's mine now. Now what, if anything, is in here? Because there had to be a reason that we came in here, right? Beautiful. Whoa, look out. Yeah, run from the turret. Ha ha. Suck on that. How about that work out for you? It's a wonderful sound. Damage Research 2. Hit them where it hurts and hit them hard. New Damage Research 2 lets you exploit your enemy's weaknesses even more than before. Again, we're done with research. Uh, and I don't think that this will honestly help us in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, we don't... Uh, even if it did boost our bonuses, it, it's, it, we can pretty much kill anything pretty quickly right now. Big Daddy Boots. Oh no. Great, we got the boots. What's it look? Why are these boots here? They should be in fail-safe armored escorts. Uh, no matter. Take them, take them. <laughs> we'll figure out how the boots wound up here in the library later. Okay, I think you got her. Sheesh. Okay, with the boots on, now we make noise when we walk around. So, isn't that great? Fantastic. Ooh. We almost sound like a big daddy now. Anyway. Where are you gonna go? Your life? Your family? They're a fairy tale, kid. No more real than something you read about in the Saturday Evening Post. Poor bastard. A motherless freak. Whipped up in a half-baked science experiment. <laughs> you don't say. Thanks for reminding me there, uh... Fontaine. Let's see. Shame things turn out this way, kid. You and me could have run the table in this place. Now there's nothing left for you but a long, cold nothing. Are you done? You done taunting me now? Because we gotta go to optimized eugenics. Which is obviously this way. What you got? Take that. Is it too much to ask for there to be anything in this ice pile? Oh, there is a little room. Oh. Well, what do you know? But what's in here? Besides coffee and some money. Changing employers. Hmm. Fontaine is dead. Bad for Fontaine. Good for Suchong. Play hard to get for a bit. Then Mr. Ryan get hungry for me. Tillybomb gone, Fontaine gone. Suchong only one who know all about little sister. Like I said, 
It's very good for Su Chong. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Here is where you'll be finding the voice box to have sound like one of those big daddies. Repulsive creatures. Okay. Oh, decontamination, you say. There we go, that's my cam now. Not that I'm expecting anything to walk through that door, but... Let's see. Live subject testing. Live subject control room. Ooh, look at this place. You think turning yourself into one of those tin men is a two-way street? The crowd's holding auditions for the Frankenstein parade, and you're first in line. <laughs> Fontaine, you... You really need to shut up, Fontaine. Are your hacks still being interrupted by alarms? Then you need alarm expert two today. A hack smart gene tonic. Oh, sure. I mean, we already have alarm expert, so why not arm expert two? Let's see. The voice box modification prototype zero eight four five six nine F. Look at you. We will make Big Daddy out of you yet, I think. But there's only one piece missing: the bodysuit. Go to failsafe armored escorts. I don't know what that just did. But it sounded disgusting. Has Mother Goose really got her hooks into you? You can knock Ryan all you want, but the old man was bingo on one point of fact. You won't even walk till somebody says go. Ho 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 ho. I suppose I have you to thank for that, don't I, Fontaine? <laughs> Yeah, when we get hit now, we moan like a big daddy. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but, uh... Plasmid prototyping. Picked a bad day to, to come after me. Whoa, is that a homing turret? That missile just turned that corner, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. That was weird. Whatever, audio diary. Ryan sent over extra munitions. He must have suspected trouble. I will lock them up near the protected labs and set the code to 1921. I don't expect we'll ever be needing them, though. Once Big Daddy is ready, nobody cross the Big Daddy. <laughs> That's what you think. You didn't anticipate people having enough balls to mess with Big Daddy. So, what can I expect to find in here now? Backup generator door, okay. Look around you, kid. You think two-bit heroics count for a thing in this pit? You're staring down the puke stain of Ryan's busted dream. You think there's something worth saving down here? Then you deserve to gargle with the rest of these scrubs. <laughs> if 
Fontaine, you're just digging yourself into a deeper hole. Okay, now that the alarm is over. I don't know, is it even possible? I'm gonna take the guide's word for it. Apparently we've spliced so many electrical uh, gene tonics into our system that that water won't hurt too much. I'm hoping that electrical flesh too has something to do with that because this is gonna hurt. Took care of them. I think that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Bioshock. Thank you for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to Sun Gaming for more content. Be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and you can hang out with me on Steam and the Backloggery. Please join me for the next episode. This is Sun. Signing off.